<clears throat> Hello YouTube, I'm wearing a hat because I just took a shower and you don't want to see my hair right now. Um, I gave you, um, I, I got this in school a few days ago, the domino effect, and I thought, hey, well that makes, and I was reading it and I was like, oh, well that's just not just some bland, corporate, boring whole thing that a, no, a normal teacher would pass out, but my social studies teacher, history teacher, geography teacher, yada yada yada, religion teacher, Basically, just you know, he he made good uh, points that kind of outstand outstand to me. Um, so I'm just giving uh, you know just just a few thoughts on the domino effect, and I'm gonna read this to you it's like a manuscript. The domino effect. <coughs> Excuse me. What is history? I feel that this is a very broad question has a sim that has a very simple answer. History is the present that happened a long time ago. The people and events are real. They are not made up. They are not fake. They are real people just like you and me. But how does someone who lived a thousand years ago affect your lives? Or our lives. Sorry. What is the point of learning about some random guy with a weird name or some random event in Europe? Without these people or events, our lives would not be the way they are today. Okay, right now you are saying, okay, blah, 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 history is boring, and I already hate this class. Or I hate this video, or I hate this channel. <laughs> anyway, um, is the whole year going to be like this? Well, just hear me out. History is like a reality. It's like a reality TV show that just wasn't taped. There are fights, arguments, winners, losers, jerks, heroes, and yes, plenty of drama. It is in one big story, history. What I want you to do, though, is think of each event or person in history as a domino. Yes, a domino. Even though there are an uncountable amount of events, people in history, picture of billions and billions of dominoes lined up, ready to be, uh, ready to be pushed over and waiting at the finish line, is right now. The present year lives today. As each year, month, day, hour, minute, second passes, history is being made and do domino after domino is being laid in all kinds of cool, unique ways. But what if just one domino was moved out of line? What would happen? Would the world stop? Probably not, but things would change. Your lives as you know them today would change. Each and every event person in history had an impact on our lives. What if Columbus took the wrong turn, followed a dolphin, and ended up in, in, in Antarctica, running around with the penguins? What if the colonists did not win the Revolutionary War? What if the South won the Civil War? What if Martin Luther King was not assassinated? What if Germany and Adolf Hitler won World War II? What if 9-11 never happened? Even if one of these events never happened, our lives would be drastically different. Whether the event is as large as a war or as small as a speech, our lives can be altered in an instant. So as each day passes, the present becomes the past and ultimately history. Ask yourselves, does history really not relate to my life? Yeah, there's a picture of some dominoes. And at the top, I wrote just so wool. So, just a reminder. So, yeah, uh, that was pretty awesome. I couldn't believe that this was this interesting. It's probably not interesting to a lot of you. Well, technically, just so wool is a history channel account. So, um, Octibi, um, uh, Christian6677, or a bunch of numbers, sorry, uh, would get a kick out of it. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and, uh, Tip my hat to all of you. Peace.